Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Friday evening, so let's begin. First up, we begin with COVID-19 updates from John Hopkins University in Medicine. Let's take a look at that right now. And here is a look at that information for all of you right now. And as you can see, there are your global cases. There are 6,063,876,550 6 48. In the U.S., there are 10,713,452. Global deaths are 1,391. U.S. deaths are 244,207. And this is, that is a look at your John Hopkins University COVID-19 updates for this evening. Trump and Pompeo refused to concede election could damage Americans. America. Soft power in and around the world. With Pompeo continuing to back President Trump, he appears to be undercutting confidence in American democracy in standing of the U.S. to promote its long-standing policy of urging that free and fair elections are re-respected, aborted, critics say. Bond denied for a father and son who are charged in the fatal February shooting of Ahmad Aubrey as he was out for a jog were denied bond by a Georgia judge. Prosecutors at the hearing revealed a history of racially offensive texts sent by Travis McMichael. Let's take a listen to that video right now from CBS Evening News. father and son charged in the killing of Ahmed Arbery were denied bond by a Georgia judge. Gregory and Travis McMichael are accused in the February shooting of Arbery as he was out for a jog near the town of Brunswick. Prosecutors at the hearing revealed a, he a history rather, of racially offensive texts sent by Travis McMichael. The father okay, and there you go on that video and that report. A legend of her own. The Miami Marlins named Kim Nig as their new general manager Friday. She is now the highest ranking woman in Major League Baseball operations. Nig has 30 years of big league experience and calls her new leadership role the honor of her career. Let's take a listen to that video from CBS Evening News. The new general manager of the Miami Marlins is in a league of her own. Kim Ang is now the highest ranking woman in Major League Baseball operations. She has 30 years of big league experience and calls her new leadership role the honor of her career. Eng says her goal now is, of course, to bring championship baseball to Miami. The new general manager of the Miami... Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Congratulations to Kim. And now let's take a look at that U.S. stock market and see how U.S. stock market closed for this 
Friday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Friday evening. Your Dow Jones Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your Nasdaq closed in green and went up. S&P 500 closed in green and went up. Gold closed in green and went up. Oil closed in green and went down. U.S. 10 year closed to black. Your slash USD closed in the green and went up. And VIX closed in the red and went down. Counting down. A milestone SpaceX launch set for Saturday was scrubbed until Sunday due to weather. Mark Stressman has more on how the flight will open a new era for America's space program in which crews launch to the space station using commercially developed spacecraft. Let's take a listen to that video from CBS Evening News. With these four astronauts and one revolutionary approach, America's back in the space launch business. This is the start of kind of a new era in terms of how we're going to uh, ferry crews up and down to the International Space Station. Starting with this reusable Falcon 9 rocket, a product of NASA's public-private partnership with SpaceX. This crew trained for months inside their new capsule called Crew Dragon. Think of it as a flying iPad packed with gee whiz touchscreen technology. How challenging was the whole COVID thing? It's been very challenging. We're not talking about just keeping us safe, um, but it's keeping our family safe. They'll stay in space for six months. Victor Glover is the only space rookie. What is it you're most looking forward to? Every single bit of the mission. It'll be the first time I've been able to do that thing in space. Do not latch and the IMB is closed. Glover's 44, a former Navy pilot and the father of four girls. In another milestone, he'll become the first black astronaut to stay for an extended time aboard the space station. Why do you think it took 20 years? I don't have any idea why it may have taken this long, but uh, those, those kinds of things can be challenging. Does that mean something to you? I will once I get there. It is important to have kids who look like me or look like I looked when I was younger uh, see someone that, that uh, they can relate to that way. Here's why the launch slid from Saturday night to Sunday night. SpaceX wants to recover and reuse the rocket's first stage. It would land on a ship in the Atlantic. But because of the remnants of Ada, the ship could not leave in time to get to the recovery zone in time. Major? Mark Strassman with all the details, and we all look forward to that launch. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And we can't wait to see that launch as well. Very cool indeed. And that does it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this evening edition. Have a great rest of your Friday evening. See you back here tomorrow for more news coverage. Good night and goodbye, everyone.